Top 5 Creepiest Things Divers Claim to Have Seen in the Deep Number 1 Three Friends Go Out for a Midnight Dive Me and two buddies were on a night dive in Puget Sound hunting prawns. It was about 1 a.m. and we're a good hundred feet deep, the darkest black you could imagine. We used to do this thing on night dives where we'd get in a circle, turn off our lights, then stir up the water and watch the bioluminescence float around us like floating stars in a black watery space. Beautiful. Only this one time, the three of us turn off our lights, stir up the water, and the water glows just enough to reveal a fourth person sitting in our circle. We were at a dive resort, so it wasn't so odd to see another diver, only it was 1am and we'd seen no one prepping at the dock. He was also alone, which was odd considering the dangerous conditions of a night dive in those waters and he had no fins or gloves. I don't know how he swam so well without fins or didn't get hypothermia without boots or gloves. My friends and I wore dry suits because it was so frigid cold, but this dude was in a wetsuit with exposed skin and we were pretty sure we saw a giant gash on one of his legs. So the three of us all notice him and were too f***ing scared to move and I can hear my buddies panting in their regs, and the guy just smiles, waves, then swims away. Whenever you think you're alone and someone just shows up, like in an alley at night, it's weird, but a hundred feet underwater at night, it's absolutely terrifying. Number two. Massive octopus hides out in a conch shell. Just going to start this off by saying I'm an idiot when it comes to sea life. When I was little, I would grab smaller moray eels, chase barracudas so I could watch them, would pet sea turtles with shells the diameter of three feet or more, but one thing that really scared the piss out of me is when I went down probably 20 feet to grab a big conch shell I saw, and just as I grabbed it, an octopus tentacle with the width of my forearm grabbed my arm and squeezed me against the shell. I managed to pull it off me, although it definitely was tough to do. Needless to say, I surfaced, went back down to look at the perpetrator, then nope the f away from it while I still had all my fingers intact. Number 3. Tiger Shark Tags Along on the Dive Diving in Palua once, we're at about 100 feet, and there's a wall on one side of us, and then the ocean just drops off as far as the eye can see on the other side. A tiger shark pulls up next to us and just starts swimming next to me like he's my dive buddy or something. At first I didn't care, but after a few minutes I started to feel uncomfortable. We kept looking at each other and he was a good six feet if not a bit more. After a few minutes, a school of yellowfin tuna appeared near us, and all of a sudden, that shark decided he wanted one, and just dive-bombed out and cut one of the tuna in half. In a split second, a couple more sharks appeared, cleaned up the rest, and they all swam off quietly, like you do. Made me realize how lightning fast those things are, and how absolutely badass. Number 4 Swimmer gets injured 15 minutes from shore. Down in La Hala, California, they have caves along the coast that you can swim through if the tides are right. This particular day, the water level was high enough that you could swim through this one cave that was pretty narrow. Well, it's my turn to swim, and when I'm about halfway through, a wave comes and it just smashes me against one of the cave walls and bloodied up my back shoulder pretty good. But we're thinking, well, shit, we just got in the water 
and we were planning to swim out to a buoy then back to shore so I just say fuck it let's do it. Exposed wound in an area known for great white sightings? No big deal. Gotta get a workout in. Well we get to the buoy and I just have the biggest sense of dread come over me. We're probably a good 15 minute swim from shore and I start thinking about this wound on my arm that's just leaking shark bait into the giant vast ocean full of stuff that probably wants to eat me. Sure enough, I'm looking down as I'm starting to swim back and I see something swimming towards me from the deep. It's dark. I start swimming away from it and I turn around and I see two more of the same things coming at me from different directions under me. My face goes completely white and I'm expecting to get dragged and pulled under and never seen again at any second. But it never happens. <laughs> my friends can see the look on my face and they start asking me what happened. We all decide to swim in together. I'm practically kissing the sand when I finally made it to shore and this old man comes up to me and says, you shouldn't be swimming with that cut on your arm. You're attracting sharks. Number five. Divers find body of missing surfer still preserved in a wetsuit. I was diving off of Florence, Oregon coast with some friends and we found a body on the ocean floor in the creepiest condition possible. He was a surfer who'd gone missing a few days prior so he wore a wetsuit with his legs, arm, and head exposed. Crabs had eaten the flesh from his exposed bits so basically he was a torso with a skull and skeleton limbs. Needless to say, it's one of the creepiest things I've ever seen on the ocean floor. 